I'm the administrator on a lot of websites and it is annoying when I get the notification that a user has changed their password. So in this video, I want to show you guys how to disable the email notification that admins get when a user changes the password. Let's get started. So here on the ideapro.io site that we do testing and tutorials on, we're gonna create a new folder in the plugins folder here and we're gonna call it ideapro email notification. And then inside of that folder, we're gonna create a new file called ideapro email notification.php. And the reason why we named the, um, the plugin folder and file name like that is ideapro in the front of it to make it um, unique. And then the email notification is to tell us what it is. And the file name inside of that folder needs to be the same as the folder name except with the extension .php, so ideapro email notification .php. So here we're gonna create some PHP brackets and we're gonna do some comments and we're gonna say plugin name is ideapro email notifications. Come on, email notifications. And the description is going to be disable email notifications all right so let's say uh, disable admin email notifications when a user changes their password so we can call this plugin whatever we want we can name it whatever we would like and put in the description wherever you like we're going to add filter and in this first argument here we're going to say send password, if I can spell it right, password change email. And then the second argument here, we're going to do two underscores and then return underscore false. And what that does is it just returns false. We're gonna save that. We're gonna come over to our plugin section here. We're gonna activate this plugin. And now anytime anyone changes a password that is not an administrator, you won't get those admin email notifications anymore. Um, now this line of code here, you can put this in another plugin that you've already created. You can create a standalone plugin like I just did. You can put this in your functions.php file of your theme. Now the only way you want to do that is if you've created the theme or if it's a child theme of a theme that you've downloaded. So don't put it in the theme, the functions.php of a theme that you've purchased because when you update that theme, it will uh, remove that line of code. Or if it's like one of the default themes in WordPress, if you put it in that functions.php file, when that theme updates, it will remove that line of code. So you either wanna put it in a child theme or in a plugin that you've created so that whenever you update plugins or update themes, it doesn't automatically remove that line of code. Never change any of the system files from WordPress. Only change plugins that you've made or themes that you've made or child themes. If you wanna know how to change the template of the email that goes out for all emails in WordPress, you can click the little video here. And if you would consider subscribing, you can click my face in the little round photo down here. See you next time.